We are now getting the first images of the wreckage of the doomed cargo ship, 15,000 feet underwater. This near the coast of the Bahamas, that ship sank back in October during a hurricane. 33 men lost. Steve Harrigan's live in Miami now. What do we learn from these new pictures, Steve? Bill, these remarkable images are coming from remote control underwater devices that went down 15,000 feet near the Bahamas. What they are basically capturing are chunks of this 800 foot long freighter, which back in October was carrying new automobiles and cargo from Florida to Puerto Rico before it was destroyed by a Category 4 hurricane. Now, what has not been recovered is the data recording advice or bodies or personal effects. But the biggest question that remains is what caused the engine failure to doom this freighter? Investigators say it could take up to one year to answer all of their questions, Bill. What are investigators saying? Do they place any blame or fault at this point, Steve? Right now, investigators say there is no evidence of any guidance between the ownership of the freighter and the captain, whose final decision it was to press ahead. What really doomed this freighter was the loss of engine power. That meant it couldn't outrun the storm, and that storm grew into winds of 140 miles per hour. With no engine power, too, the freighter was unable to steer into the waves, and by the peak of that storm, those waves were 50 feet high. So there are a number of lawsuits from the family members of those 33 mariners who were killed, 28 of them Americans, in what was the worst U.S. maritime disaster in 35 years. Wow. Bill? Steve, thank you. Steve Harrigan, haunting images indeed from Miami.